ஹலோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வெல்கம் டு ஆல் மை எம்டெக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் இன்ஜினியரிங் வித் ஸ்பெஷலைசேஷன் இன் ஆஃப்ஷோர் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் பிஃபோர் கோ இன் டு த டீட்டெயில் ஃபஸ்ட் கம் டு த பார்ட் விச் இஸ் கால்ட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் பிகாஸ் அவர் ஸ்பெஷலைசேஷன் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஐ திங்க் ஸோ யூ ஆல் நோ த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் ஏ எனிங் you can say which can be constructed or built it generally comes when you have to join the parts to meet a certain need or perform a particular task if you go like your building where you are staying now what is that it has been built in such a way that it will uh, take the load and uh, it can carry the, your all the needs means it's not like only building is the structure there everything everything which you can see that is also a structure such as you can say spider webs birds nets wasp nest anything anything you uh, believe anything you can look everything is a structure and those are called natural structure and which we used to build that is called artificial structures and those are generally built by us human structures and those are called houses buildings bridges etc now you can see any kind of house any kind of like commercial building or uh, you can say residential building any kind of like flyovers whether it is on road or off road is on the sea or whether it is on the river or any kind of like uh, hotels and everything everything is a structure then first when the structure comes into the mind it must be that who design those structures and what are the design depends on the design basically depends on your the like strength most part is the strength then whether that has to um, you can say that has to complete their basic needs like that a tower has to transmit the signals similarly the building has to take the their belongings and comfort and the aesthetic beauties for any function also everything whatever you think that a building can take that can be available depends on the need and uh, who design them that are called as a civil engineer structural engineer those the civil engineers who, who used to focus on basic on the only structural part like uh, to know the uh what is the load coming on the structure what kind of structural capacity of that that will be structural there are other parts are also there like geotechnical um you can say environmental water resource but structural engineer is only focused on the structural point of view after like architect they used to like keep the plans from the plan to construction of the building that is a part of the structural engineer any kind of building basically what is their need they used to think and do the design according to the need of a architect or need of the people who they're going to belong you can see so many examples are the like uh, you can say metro rail that is also a structure the metro rail going on a like platform that's also a structure any offshore bridges onshore bridges those are any your uh, um, you can say any road any construction any kind of even if in natural uh, building also made of natural like wood or everything that is also can be in design those structures we used to get so many um, task like uh, if you going to build a bridge how many uh vehicles will come how many uh, pedestrians will come what is the traffic volume those are also a part 
if it is skyscraper what is the wind of the structure how much wind will come how much earthquake will come those are the challenges which you, a design engineer or a structural engineer used to overcome you can see if then not only challenges are not uh, built on only earthquake or wind those are gone for the basic forces also like a, a push or pull will come or any external force will come or any internal uh, transmission of force like two members are connected so if there is a transmission of force or any dynamics is going on on those cases also it will like behave that is called the behavior of the structure when it undergoes any kind of forces and those kind of forces can be any types like a compression tension torsion and shear compression which like certains or crosses your structure while tension which stretches or pulls apart similar to torsion which twists and shear which act in the opposite direction those are the normal forces means basic forces a structure engineer we used to go through apart from that you know that those are like wind is there then earthquake is there then uh, you can say any accidental load is also there crane load is there it's a heavy structure nowadays if you see in the bridge construction you see a crane will be taking the slab of the bridge so the crane has to like that is another part see the reaction has to be gone through the crane also and you can see how the building used to behave when a compression tension and torsion used to come the building simultaneously behave the compressive strength as well as the tensile strength and torsional strength in the same time that is what the major uh, for a structural engineer and those will give you the internal forces which can be a compression or tension and shear which can cross a material like a internal failure can occur a squeezing can occur torsion can occur then apart from a basic forces there are some uh, like um, theoretical forces also used to occur like uh, if you applied a load there will be like uh, it can be static load static load means which is constant throughout the time like your load if you uh, if you like sit on a chair that the load is constant yes or no it is your load is not changing but if you go and jump on the chair by particular time so it will happen at a particular time the load is changing and that also not same if you jump high due to the kinetic energy the load will be also go on moving again and again that is called dynamic load that means the load is not dependent on time it can change it can like less it can be more static load is generally our any kind of dead load or live load but dynamic load is generally your you can say wind load you can say earthquake load you can say um, load due to water or sea water challenges in offshore design you can see due to those your building and any structure can be affected nowadays what is happening a basic material which is a very old material which is called as wood that has been used as a structural material for construction okay that is good as well as compression and tension but having having less um, strength but it's good it's good for a like a small building or um, building which can be constructed in a high uh, elevated um, you can say um, whose msl is very much high whose rl is very much high where the you can say in hill stations it will better to construct the building in wood and then our major major use that i can say that is concrete you know very well this is very good very easily constructed it can be like a, you can give it any shape it is very good in compression but only thing is weak in tension that's why we used to use steel and you know that uh, it can be of any type we used to produce beam then floors bridges anything 
anything that can be uh, precast that can be pre-stressed that can be like reinforced that can be without reinforced also it can be wear matched it can be any shape you want to give to concrete that can be given and any shape you want from concrete that also you can get depends on the construction depends on the use but only thing which is can be accounted that is your economical in economical point of view you used to change the properties of concrete day by day like you, uh, you know the proportion of concrete we used to mix different proportions to get a economical point uh, like you can see the construction of concrete is very hard and very much caustic then another structural member is your steel and generally you know we used to use the steel as a section according to your indian standard codes different sections are available and those sections are generally called a i beam box beam angle beam or a pipe section or a channel section those are you know like ismb section uh, indian standard medium beam sections and islc sections any box section it can be of different sections like you can combine i sections to make a box section you can combine the channel section also in box sections you can combine angle section to make a channel section and apart from two ang channel also can be combined as a i section depends on the use and that is readily available nowadays for any industrial buildings you will see the um, steel structure as very much especially nowadays we are using pipe members as a major steel design because uh, the in um, when you use that as a vertical member the point of contact will be single point so in the force acting on the section will be minimized that's the main reason why we are using that as a offshore construction also and uh, that is see and also one thing when you do any design you should not go like only you should not have any knowledge of only part on single part like you should know only the building material concrete that's all is not enough you should you should know what is the strength it will transfer to the soil what is the wind direction will come what is the wind speed will come at any point what is the water level present what is the like uh, in practical approach you should know what is the real estate is going on okay and what is the 100 years data so that uh, you can go economical design and that should be suitable for your um, you can say for the industry and all same nowadays what is happening all are structuring the skyscraper basically those are steel structures in um, earlier days there is a ancient Egypt there is a great pyramid Giza was constructed that is very much high very much uh, large very much high that has been given very much uh, you can say uh, it's like a um, main structure which have been given the hope to the structural engineers that a high rise building can be built at any point of a uh, world and it can be of any height similarly your uh, leaning tower of pisa in 1178 that that leaned but that is a very long long stretches that is the main from those only we used to construct the high skyscrapers now what is happening from there we built a 10 story then 20 story 30 story now go on several stories like number of stories are going on current record is if you see the skyscraper is type a is 101 stories the height is then a 1670 feet it's a very tall very tall structure that is not the tallest structure you can say there are several offshore structures are there which has 500 meters high 2000 uh, meter deep then in those what you should do high quality structural engineers high quality beams high quality welding most safe structures are constructed for that only for construction nowadays you know like uh, due to India government uh, recently 20 uh, you can say uh, that major city is going to be constructed yes or no 
so for that they will be needing skyscrapers and roads and your metros for those metro cities and to construct them they need structural engineers and the structural engineers has to build which will be very much high very much to it can construct a good nation and which will resist the wind which will resist the earthquake means now you see like in nepal a big earthquake came and all the structures has been gone down but it's such an engineer's part that they should take care of the structure so that it cannot go down beyond the limits and it cannot be like just to it cannot overcome the earthquake so what i have to done you have to uh, you can say i can if you are interested in structural engineering you can go through the program okay and we in ups providing a program for structural engineering in mtech it's a innovative program which focused on the recent advances in structural engineering as well as in offshore engineering that means we are also dealing with onshore engineering and offshore engineering construction on field construction on water also basically in sea water so in this way you will come to know the so many kind of analysis and design especially in analysis of offshore structure design of such structure installation then uh, design of earthquake resistant structure then uh, seismic design wind resistance design tall structure design everything and if you know our objective is the main objective of our program to include the same development and use up computerized method for to give the best solution and so that it can overcome any kind of challenges nowadays if you see all are related to computers everybody is relating the computer to design to analysis everything not only manual so this is generally a two years course and uh, in this you will come to know several design methods and optimization and economical point of view also and i know you want to uh, know what are the companies which will hire uh, i think so most of you know about if you are say civil engineer and then you should know that in government department also in mncs psus and every private organization they have their own structural engineer to take care to consultant engineer and uh, some of them are you can know like samsung heavy industries reliance industry technip techent keppel wally person sidwin gamma india then larsen and tubro simplex and etc and etc so many companies are there you can go through any means so many now it's coming over and and over like i can say uh, like a scientist can discover a new star but he cannot make one he would have to ask an engineer to do it for him the in structural point of view if i can say a architect can design means can give any plan but a structural engineer has to make that plan to a construction and for that we have designed a course which have a 76 credits and four semester will be there semester 1 will go for 22 and semester 2 also go for 22 credits while semester 3 and 4 will go for 18 and 14 credits if you want to see semester 1 you will go through around six subjects and one lab and the subjects are theory of elasticity and plasticity matrix methods optimization method design of offshore structure advanced steel design finite element method and in lab you will go for the advanced concrete lab there will be one seminar also to know your skills similarly semester 2 you have stability structure theory to plates and cells and elective which are five subjects from that you have to select only one either you have to go for pre stress concrete or pre engineer structures or foundation of structures or design of high rise structures or design of floating structures then that you have seismic design of structures construction of offshore structures 
and structural dynamics as a compulsory subject while you have a practical advanced structural design lab and a compulsory industrial visit in the industrial visit we will take you several industries industries where we will come to know about practical approach and how to solve those practical approach then in semester 3 you will go to any industry to get a industrial training of full sem full semester then in the final semester you will have a project and seminar that's all from my point of view thank you and welcome if you have any queries you can ask i'm waiting for your questions If you want to uh, contact me, then you have my mail ID. That's a double S E T H Y at the rate D N dot U P S dot A C dot in. You can contact me by my phone number also. If you want, you can note it down. It's seven eight three zero three two three seven. Uh, I am telling once again it's seven eight three zero three two three seven three nine and once again myself Susan Kumar Sati, assistant professor in civil engineering department. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chinma. See, offshore engineering is a very growing structure. Okay, the why it has been grown like all the oils from the um, earth has been taken out. It's in the like living earth. Only thing is left is your. Uh, water part which is around 75 percent of the earth and there are so many oils has been built it and um, what is there now so many basically in arabian countries and american countries they've been built extracted extracting the oil from the seas and india is nowadays from last three to four years uh, not three to four you can go for five to six years uh, they have been also started to extract the oil from the seabed okay and ONGC is one of them and it's growing very hard and so that for the same they need a platform to dig that oil and that platform is generally a offshore construction and it is very much used and to construct that platform it is a, like required around a very 
a city you can say full city a city of around size of like one fourth of delhi okay and um, that much area it's required is a huge construction of steel and that is not only one area that has been built it only in your uh, mumbai near mumbai that is called mhn complex and so we have four new construction is going to occur that is at gujarat then at chennai then as at kolkata and another one is your uh, at andhra pradesh four new are going to construct so that is a huge construction is going to happen in india in coming years and the, i think so that will be completed within next 10 years because it's required last lots of time and lots of engineers and that is not that is only oil part and also because uh, population is growing on and we have lack of uh, space people are moving toward to the water like your palm island has been built it similarly india is also trying to build a island near your chennai that's a future plan that's going to be built okay so it's a huge uh, um, scope is there and we have several companies also working on the same like ongc is there it's a major company then lnt valdel is there then uh, samsung Eng heavy engineering then kpl offshore and techni these are the basic most of them are mncs uh, yes of course and in indian companies also looking to have it's a very good scope is there are you getting my point of view and also i forgot another thing like um, not only those there are also uh, construction is going on like bridge construction over the sea like nearly uh, your uh, bandra valley ceiling has been bought and bandra valley ceiling that also a offshore construction that is around it's a huge construction over the sea also that has been bought by uh, simplex and L lnt combinedly on by your uh, mumbai development authority similarly there so many others are going to build in mumbai also what's going on any more queries is the course of mtech at uh, no 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 it won't focus on only on offshore okay yeah uh, it will base mainly it will focus on structural engineering and on structural engineering offshore is also a part okay we have uh, like total 12 subjects and uh, from that only two is your offshore structural Two is belong to offshore structural and one is your that is your elective that also if you will take then it will be three offshore structural other than that everything will be a structural engineering part it to it not it won't focus only on offshore structural 
basically it will focus on the structural engineering and uh, we do have a specialization that is called offshore that's also that is a you can say bonus Any more queries? Yes, yes, uh, Chinma, you can uh, make your career in design field with this course. The structural uh, engineering is basically design only. It's a uh, design, not only design, you can say design, detailing, and um, construction, it's all. Okay, so obviously, it will boost your career in construction line also. You will like uh, if you were a civil engineer and you got a MT degree in structural that it will be like you go on have a um, huge boost um, in your career it will be like uh, um, structural engineer yes obviously design of any field of any construction not only uh, design also you can go for the consultancy farm also you can build your own consultancy farm also with this uh, like most of the uh, um, high rise structures most of the um, like building uh, most of any structures any company they used to hire a consulting farm 
they used to hire a structural engineer to like to like maintain their structure that's a basically structural engineer means at least a structural engineer can do design is the basic part of that obvious Have you got that? Or anything else you want to know? Okay, thank you. Any more queries? Okay, thank you.